what you did was reckless. It was against the law and dangerous. And a whole bunch of other shit I'm just too mad to talk about. My advice to you as your attorney. My attorney? Yes, your attorney. <laughs> would be to stay away from anything that would be perceived as suspicious to nosy cops. You know those feds have been snooping around? Yeah, I know. They're the ones that fucking kill Cook. What? We don't like how things have been moving down here. And now I need you to deliver a message. Message? What kind of message? Ah! Hey, oh, Teddy, what the hell are you doing? Bitch, stop that. Stop. I got this. Why are you running from me, Kelvin? Because you crazy. Shut up. You blow your head off, you piece of shit. Bitch, this guy is known for chopping up his enemies and grinding them up into meat. What? By the end of this conversation, you're going to tell me what I want to know. You know who's responsible for this? Listen, I take care of it. Tell him I'll put a cork in it. But these feds poking around asking questions is not good. Guys, sir, conoces el nombre quien es, no? Janie, Janie, here it is, I'm thinking you're riding my ass because you got a stick up yours and you're a piece of shit just like him. Don't move. I don't know, as soon as we find out where they at, we're going to get them. Yeah, well, that's the problem, bro. Ain't no next time. You know how this shit going to go, right? Yeah. Your boy's missed. You should get your money back and use it to buy some cookies and commissary and shit. Well, I can't wait to bust his ass to have him on my wall. What? Yeah, I have a trophy wall in one of the spare rooms where I work out. I get inspired seeing those faces with case clothes stamped across them. Uh, first of all, it is highly unusual to have work case files in your home. And secondly, that's some psychopathological shit, Janie. safe space, yes? Yes. Okay. Well, actually, I'm more concerned about my partner. I think she's going off the rails. Ever since we took down those serial killing slime balls, she's gotten worse. And I don't like it. Okay. Let's talk about your last assignment. How are you feeling about that? I mean, what can I tell you? Nothing of it. This slimy son of a bitch <laughs> that kills children and innocent people is behind bars. I feel great. So this is the same individual that attempted to kill you and your partner? Does that give you any feelings of anxiety or any sleeplessness? Yes. And you know why, Doc. I'm sure she's a piece of work in here with you, too. Nope. If anything, I sleep like a baby, fresh off a small tit. She's probably home right now, sleeping like a baby on a tit. You know, when you deflect like that, it's a clear sign that you're being guarded. Dude. And that's why you're here. But I want you to know that this is a safe place. You can release. <laughs> I wish I was at home releasing right now. Uh, okay, well, um, what do you do to release? What? I mean, do you have a boyfriend? And, you know, like, how does he feel about your line of work? <sighs> you know what? This is getting weird. Look, I don't want to be here. And the only reason I'm here on my day off and not sitting on someone's face is because my freaking bosses said I have to. Work is cutting into my sexy time. Right now, I'm sitting here on this couch on my day off because my bosses say that I have to be here. Okay, so do me a favor. Sign that paper, let me get the hell out of here, and next time I come, I promise I'll tell you how it felt. You know what? Do me a favor. Can you just sign this paper, please, so I can get out of here and maybe get me some sexy time today? Okay. Thank you, Doc. Oh, and, 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 and put that the blue shoes. Okay, I got you. Just a couple. <laughs> My wife will thank you later. <laughs> thank you. You have a beautiful night. Okay, you too.
Hey, hey, what's up, kid? What's got you looking so chipper today? What are you so giddy about? I'm excited. About what? Oh, my DT told me the replacement for that piece of crap Marcus you locked up is here running around in the building today. Really? Mm-hmm. You know who it is? Yeah. Frankie Sullivan. Oh, tough by the book and great at having agents back when it comes to the field. Huh. Frankie Sullivan, you say? Yeah. <laughs> Frankie Sullivan, I'm Frank Bishop. Nice to meet you. I like it. Sounds like a real man's man. I can't wait to meet him. <laughs> Speaking of which, here comes Sullivan right now. <coughs> Frankie Sullivan, nice to see you again. Janie, how are you? <laughs> Good, and you? Uh, and you must be Special Agent Bishop. Yes, ma'am. I've heard very nice things about you, and I'm really looking forward to quarterbacking this team. Well, I'm looking forward to it as well, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes, you mm -hmm. are. <laughs> well, I have to keep it moving along. I have a meeting with your aunt. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that you guys both have a lot to do. So, yes. I'll be seeing you both very soon. I promise okay, you that. Right there. Uh, Bishop. I noticed that your tie is a little loose. You might want to tighten that up. We want you to look your best for the department. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. What? Do what I got. Yo, it's me. Listen, I need you to make sure that money gets to where it needs to be. I need you to make people understand that there's consequences for failure. I need that pig's head on the table. Make it happen. That's what's going on, right? I'm not gonna do it. One of you is enough, let alone two? Are you kidding me? I refuse to be the FBI's version of The View. Not me. First of all, you better watch your mouth when you talk about my deep. Second of all, stop acting like a damn big baby. Wasn't you the one acting or saying you wanted a good recommendation? And now we got one. Yeah, but did you see enough? Oh, your tie is loose. Like what that nerve of this woman? What if I said your cheap ass wig is loose? Yeah, you laugh. I just cannot. Oh my God, come on, we got some criminals to catch. Can we do that? And I'm hungry. And no, no, we ain't doing no hot dogs, okay? Doing, working on new change, new meat. Tell me where the rest of the coins are. Man, fuck you. Feel like a rat to you? That's the way you want it? Fuck you. Yeah? Look what the fucking wind blew in. I thought I smelled Bud Light and prostitutes. <laughs> she wasn't a stripper. Yeah. She was a dancer. Fuck both of you guys. I'll write both your asses up. Here we Damn. go. A sergeant a whole week and he's better than us. Who's head? Look, I got the info on a shipment of fentanyl coming into the city tomorrow. As soon as it gets here, we're gonna take him down. So what about it? You need backup, something? Nah, it's nothing like that. It's connected to some east side scum that you took down last year. I made my way in the coalition. Good job. Let's go crack some fucking skulls. Easy, killer. Easy. Look, I got to make a run. But I just wanted to give you guys the heads up. If you want some get back, I'll holler. Good Say shit. less. Season's 
changing. You can feel the cold and the wind. Yeah, winter's definitely coming. Yeah. And after the solstice, coalition's grip won't be a factor anymore. <laughs> Profits are going to be enormous. Can't wait. Matter of fact, let's take a walk. Tell me about the mission that you just completed. This is some real live bullshit. They got me driving you around all day like you came dingling. See this right here? It means you do whatever the fuck I tell you to. You know, matter of fact, don't you pull over up here and give me a cup of coffee. <laughs> Not in your wildest dreams. I don't care if these idiots were dumb enough to bump you up to sergeant. You're still the same old ass wife to me. I'll write your ass up for insubordination. Better not respect that authority. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You get shot in the ass by some high-priced renaissance and they gave you a promotion. You really are one lucky prick. Just drive, my boy. Uh, yes, I'm boss. I know I owe you child support money, all right? Why you think I'm going to work? I'm thankful I got this job. Look, I, I understand. I know I haven't seen her in a week. What do you want me to do? I owe you child support. I'm playing catch up. Fuck, you think I am mustard or some shit? Look, man, stop it, all right? I will. How she gonna wanna talk to me when she sleep at three o'clock in the morning while I'm working? That don't make no damn sense. I know. I'm only getting like a fucking $75 check. That's how much I know I owe you in child support, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Look, man, I'll talk to you later, all right? Yeah, you too, have a good one. Pain in the ass. Fucking nerves, man. Kelvin? <laughs> Shit, the fuck, what man? What you here, Kelvin? Come on over here, Kelvin. Boy, it's good to see you. What's up, man? What you want, man? Just came and see him out, man. Check on you, make sure you all right. You know, that's all. Man, y'all guys are like my shadow. Every time I turn around, you're there. Everywhere I go, you go. It's called witness protection, Kelvin. That's what we're here for. You did a little something for me. Now I got to do my own little something for you. Yeah, man, I noticed. We, you, the streets are brutal out here, you know? What, did Cheney send you? Cheney couldn't be here, but she did want to know that you're OK. I'm sure she'll be concerned to know that you care. Yeah, man, look, I got 10 minutes, man. What you want, man? All right, so listen, it goes like this. I hear a lot of things out on these streets, Kelvin. Yeah, you know what, that's the problem. You always hearing something. I'm the one that got to verify what you hearing. Kelvin, you are not my only intel. I got higher ups and I got lower downs. And trust mm -hmm. me, everybody's talking about you right now. Oh, so I'm the topic of the conversation. I just want you to be safe, Kelvin. It's dangerous yeah. out here in these streets. Yeah, I know, man. I know already. All right. You be safe, okay? Yeah, I got to get to work, I man. want you to go make that money, Kelvin. Go ahead and make that money. Yeah, yeah, you hear me? Right, yeah, All right, yeah. now. Make it rain on the train, Kelvin. Yeah. Make it rain on the train. I'll see you later, bro. Hey, 
feel a bit different about having this meeting without the other members of the coalition being present. Things are dismantling, and I don't see how that's helpful. Y'all, this is no different than the lobbyists having lunch with congressmen, persuading him or her to side with them on a particular issue. It's just people working to find middle grounds to an agreement. Even though Verdugo's in a volatile situation, very active in the streets. Now his nephew getting picked up by the feds, it's a major concern. That movie made on Diego has to get addressed. Most definitely. That's why I called you here today. Since those two are locked up for the time being, I've maintained relationships with the plug. I've reassured them. You won't have to worry about the feds interfering with what we have going on over here. You did that? How? How is it relevant? An enemy of my friend is my enemy. And that's good for negotiations when meeting their demise. I like that. I'll be in touch. Popular vote always wins. See you soon. Yes, Chief. Okay, okay. Yes, I'll get on that right away. Okay. Yeah, I'll just talk to Giorgio. We're still active. This Harlem Cats is way too political on the way they handle business out there. If it was up to me, I would just cut his head off and send it to his mother. Yeah, no doubt. I'm gonna get up out of here. We're still on schedule. All right. No protection. Enjoy your stay in hell. Hey, Diego. What's up, man? So, yeah, I'm starting to see why y'all coming so hard at Kaza. I had no idea that snitch motherfucker he be would got so many of these coins, man. Yeah, it all makes sense now. Yeah. It all makes sense, man. job, but uh, as soon as the job is done, I need you to take care of internet, Ed. Yeah. yeah, you can send me proof afterwards, it's fine. All right, we'll be in touch. away with the same cop's bullet in her ass. Look, I was born at night, not last night. So save that silly shit for the trial, all right? I'm trying to save a life. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know, any day now, Kaiser's gonna have somebody meet her in the shower or catch her while she's sleeping and then it's lights out for her. Or you could turn state's evidence and testify that Kaiser hired her 
to assassinate Detective Mickey. Are you dumb? Hey, pretty girl, get your man. Get off of me. Get off of me. You better me. tell her something. Get off of me. You better talk to her. Get off of me okay. now. All right, all right, Cheney, that's enough. That's, Cheney, let her go. It's okay, let her go. Get Cheney, let me. her go. Look, I'm going to bring you up on charges. Let her go now. So, what does she whisper in your ear? Go to hell. Let me out of here. Guard, I want to go back to my wait, cell. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Before you go calling your guard, I want to let you know your daughter's missing. That's the real reason we're here. And the only way you can save her life is for you to tell me what I need to know. Go to hell. I want to go back to my cell. Guard, let me out of here. Guard! Okay. Oh, okay. Meeting adjourned. We'll be back. Good play. I like that. I wasn't joking. I was gonna kill a stupid ass. Hey, you gotta get a grip. You can't. And just for the record, don't you ever threaten us snitching on me ever again, partner. Who and the hell she thinks she talking to? Hey, Bishop. Hey, man, I got a lottery ticket for you. Yeah, we just did a raid in the Brooklyn apartment. Seized a bunch of weapons, coke, and a whole lot of Bitcoins. No, no, man. They're not real Bitcoins, man. They, they're gold coins, but they made them look that way to smuggle them through customs. Hey, uh, your boy Kelvin is involved. Yeah. The, the idiot robbed some of these guys for their coins, man. They got $50,000 on his head right now. Hey, all I'm saying is you better get to him before they do. All right, later. Hey, yo, Kelvin's supposed to come out right there. As soon as he comes out, bro, we're going to lay his ass out. I bet. So pull up. I get out. We set up. I hop in the back. And that's it, we lay his ass out. Let's work.